And I think uh, it is probably the mix of the weather in Brussels uh, and uh, the fact that you have probably the three most southerners of the Commission presenting the Arctic uh, joint communication, a good sign of the fact that this is not only uh, a matter for, the, uh, for some of the member states or for parts of our policies, uh, but a priority for the whole of the European Union. We had a very good uh, discussion and conversation uh, with uh, Pavel Liponen, former Finnish Prime Minister, and uh, uh, also contributor to our uh, debate uh, with, a, with, a, with a paper, um, and also uh, highlighting the fact that uh, Finland is going to take the chair of the Arctic Council next year. We developed uh, today, we adopted today, uh, an integrated EU policy on the Arctic. Work on the Arctic uh, uh, is uh, consistent, uh, dates back to several years now, uh, but what we have adopted today is uh, an integrated approach. So putting together all different programs, all different policies, uh, from the environmental to the uh, maritime one, but also uh, the scientific, technological uh, one, and uh, touching on all the different aspects for which the Arctic is essential to the Europeans uh, and what the Europeans can do uh, for um, improving uh, the conditions in the Arctic in three main, three main pillars. Uh, one is obviously the climate change related one and the environmental one. Just a few days ago we were all signing uh, the Paris Agreement uh, in New York on climate change. You know the European Union was key in achieving the climate change agreement uh, last December. Uh, we are committed to the full implementation of it. And uh, our work on uh, the Arctic is an important part of how we face uh, the challenge of climate change and we avoid major catastrophes uh, for the entire world. The second pillar of our Arctic policy is on uh, the economic and social uh, dimension, uh, making sure uh, that the development uh, of the Arctic, which has a huge economic potential, is done in a, a sustainable way and that uh, uh, there is a social part to it, especially looking at uh, uh, the uh, conditions of the indigenous peoples and uh, uh, the need to assure that uh, the development of the region is, uh, um, is taken in a, in a sustainable way. But also, third pillar of our integrated policy is the fact that the Arctic is a key strategic region for our foreign and security policy. It's the only place in the world where three continents uh, and major uh, players in the world uh, meet, um, being it Russia, the United States, Canada, several EU member states, several European countries, two notably that are not members of the European Union but with which we work a lot. And it is a region of the world where we uh, have a good example of constructive, cooperative, regional uh, and international uh, approach. And it is a key interest of the European Union and of the European citizens to make sure that uh, uh, the constructive international cooperation there is maintained and even increased and that the European Union is part of that. Be it a frontier or a gateway to Europe, the Arctic is a region of vast importance not only to the four million people living there but also to the European Union and to the rest of the world. The region has a significant impact on our oceans, ecosystems and biodiversity and has huge potential for research, development and for international cooperation. That is why the European Union is stepping up its existing action and engagement. We will increase our investment in sustainable development we will work to reduce the dramatic impact of climate change on the region. We will continue to work together with the states and peoples of the Arctic and with our global partners. No individual country can tackle these challenges on its own. We must join together as the European Union, our member states and the international community to the benefit of the Arctic region, its inhabitants and our planet. The European Union is proud and is ready to play its part.